pag po bisita kasi sa amin, we make it a point na tinuturuan namin yung mga visitors namin about natural farming. Ang survival rate namin to nasa 85 to 90 percent po. Wow! So, nakakatuwa naman yan. Good news nga. So, dalawang maipapayo natin sa ating mga taga-subaybay. Tubig na mainit, lagyan ko noong uh, ng produkto mo, wala yung uh, wala yung kalamansi, walang lemon. Anong lasa? Kasi nagko-conduct pa sila ng seminar sa mga gustong magpasok dun sa mga hatchery ng hito. Ano ba itong biochar na to? Pwede ba natin pag-usapan? Ano po ang biochar? Magandang araw ako po si Amy Cueto at ito ang Agria ko dyan. Ngayong araw sisilipin natin ang mga tanim na di huwakalain, kinakain. Ano ang mga tanim na ito? Ang mga bulaklak. Karaniwang nagbibigay tayo ng mga bulaklak tuwing may birthday, anniversary at Valentine's Day. Kaya isang magandang gift idea ang hatid namin sa araw na ito. Kaya tutok lang kayo sa aming pagbabalik. Ito ang Agria ko dyan. Nagbabalik po ang agri ako dyan. Ngayong araw, makakasama po natin ay galing ng silang kabite. Sila nga po ang marketing associates ng Pedro Farms. Kasama po natin si Ma'am Abby Corvera at Sir Nicolo Dorian. Hello po! Hi! Hi! Good afternoon po! Good afternoon! Hi! Good afternoon! Kayo na ko po yung nababanggit sa Gapuan, no? Na pag-uusapan natin ay mga bulaklak. Ngayong araw ng mga puso, pag-uusapan natin ay bulaklak. Yan, mar marami talagang bumibili niya at pagka-araw ng mga puso, eh. Pero this time, pag-uusapan natin, edible farm po. So, edible flowers ang uh, pag-uusapan natin. Ma'am Abby, Sir Nicolo, ano ba itong edible for, uh, flowers sa pag-uusapan natin ngayong araw? Um, so, like you said, po, uh, edible flowers are this coming Valentine's. They're supposed to be something that's gonna trend, especially now because you want to show um, appreciation and care to your loved ones. So, edible flowers are a perfect way to show that because not only do they add flavor to your dishes, but they also garnish them by adding color to it. And actually, more than just that, they do have potential health benefits that will be discussed later on. So. With that, it is important to note that not all flowers are edible. So hopefully through the information that we share with what we learned here at our farm, um, we can give you an idea on how to identify what is possible to consume, um, specifically the three flowers that we grow here in our farm. So the first one would be the big begonia, cocolata. Um, these are native to South America and they can grow up to 18 inches in height and 24 inches in width. And cocolata means that it's hooded, so this is referring to the shape of the flower. And what's special about it also is that its leaves are glossy and scallop-like, which is why it's also commonly known as the club begonia. Uh, the, second, the second flower that we grow here in the farm is the impatience, specifically in patience walleriana. And these are native to Eastern Africa, Oman. They grow six to two inches tall, and they mount, they are mounted with lower leaves that touch the ground. There are many varieties of these impatiens. One of which is the most common one is the one that we grow here, the the impatiens valeriana, and it consists of a series of cultivars and is more commonly known as busy lizzy. And they are one of the most popular bedding plants with a wide variety of colors which you will see throughout this presentation. The last would be the Sweet Williams. So these are native to Southern Europe and it is prized for its densely packed, um, flattened clusters of small flowers. These naman can grow up to 12 to 24 inches tall and six to 12 inches wide. Mm -hmm. They are ideally used in cottage gardens and perennial beds or containers. And because it comes in vibrant shades, it's attractive to a lot of pollinators such as butterflies, bees, and hummingbirds. So these are the three that we grow here in our farm. Okay. 
Ma'am, kasi kanina nabanggit mo, hindi lahat ng flowers pwedeng kainin. So, ano yung yes. common na uh, makikita natin kahit sa physical features ba, makikita na pwedeng kainin yung mga bulaklak at hindi pwedeng kainin? Uh, yes, there are uh, one of the main things to keep in mind before uh, consuming flowers is, of course, checking credible resources. So things like the begonias, um, hibiscus, those are the more common ones. Roses, chamomiles, dandelions, these can be consumed. But the best way to see if they are consumable or not is to really fact check, whether through online or books or any credible uh, resource person who might know of um, these edible flowers. Mm-hmm. Pagka, kasi nabasa ko, meron silang mga toxins, no? That can affect your, ano, yung stomach natin, intestine yeah. natin, pag kumain tayo or magkaroon ng skin irritation. Mm-hmm. So, hindi basta-basta ang pagkain ng mga bulaklak. And then, sabi mo yeah. din, kailangan alam natin kung saan galing yung mga bulaklak. Sa inyo, paano nyo inaalagaan at sa yung begonia, uh, paano ito pinaplant? Ano yung mga ginagawa nyo sa pag-maintain, sa pag-care, and yung pesticides? Gumagamit ba tayo? Kasi edible to Dapat wala. Yes, of course. Pa. So, Nicola will be explaining more on uh, the growing okay, and care for these plants. Yes. Hi, hi, ma'am. So, in growing the edible blooms or our edible flowers, there are certain factors that you have to take in mind. So, for the specific like our begonia, sweet williams, and our impatience, how we grow them and the best way you can grow them as well is you have to take in these two factors, which is the most important. And of course, there will be some factors to that you have to take into take into, take into consideration when you are going to plan on consuming and also harvesting and planting your edible blooms. First is the sunlight. So your edible blooms need sufficient sunlight so you have to make sure it's a in a open area that sunlight will really get to it secondly you have to make sure your environment is in a cool environment so those two things are very important um you might get confused na there's sunlight and it has to be cool so what it needs is the ray, the sun rays pointing at it but it also needs the wind blowing on it to be cool just to keep it uh, really fresh and also help it bloom. That's what makes it bloom more. In terms of the pesticides, we really don't use pesticides and it's also a big deal not to put pesticides or spray any synthetic synthetic nutrients or anything synthetic on our plants because those are things you're going to be consuming and once you do uh-huh. consume those, especially if it's sprayed on the plant itself, it's something that will be directly consumed by you. So what you're consuming is not just the flower, but also the synthetic nutrients or the pesticide you sprayed. So how to maintain your flowers to have no insects is really monitoring it by yourself. So how you do this is you personally take it, take the insects out by yourself. That's how to do it. That's how we do it here in the farm. So by doing this, of course, you avoid the insect, the pesticides. Since this is this stuff or our flowers are grown uh, on soil because that's where they're supposed to be grown you can't really grow them anywhere else you can but it's very hard to do so and because they're grown in soil they're more prone to insects so doing this is more tedious it's more tedious to do because it's something you have to monitor throughout another factor is of course your basic plant care like fertilization watering of plants so for the watering of plants, you do this more or less two to three times a day. Um, so for doing this, the best way to do it is really by experience and by experimentation based on your location and on your climate around you. So how you do this is, of course, you're going to experiment. You're going to water it two or three times a day. You see what works best to make the flowers bloom. So once you find that, you stick to that routine because once you know what's best for your flowers, that's the that's when you can find the best results for your flowers. For now, that's really how we do it in the farm. And those are tips you can take also if you're ever planning to grow them yourself. yourself. Yeah. Mm-mm. Ang begonia is all year round. Nagbubloom, tama? Or seasonal? 
So the begonias actually take four months before they bloom. Mm-hmm. And you can harvest before you can harvest before it. you can harvest yeah. them. So you, you can it, harvest. Uh oh. Yes. So from seeding, from sowing stage, it will start to flower in about one and a half months. Mm. Then from once it flowers, that's when you can start counting from to four months. After four months is when you can start harvesting them mm-hmm. and start consuming them. Yes, pa. Oh, ang begonya nyo ano yon? Yung may nabasa kasi ako wax and tuberus. Alin dun yung piti na tanim nyo? Ours is the wax begonia po. Bakit? Oh, uh, like we said, well, for this applies to all three flowers that we choose to produce here at the farm. Why we choose to produce it? There are three main reasons. So, firstly, they do fit our target market, mm-hmm. and the second reason is because here in Silang, as Nicola said, the climate here is perfect. There's still sun, but the air can get really cold, and it's grown in an open space. And for the third reason as to why we did cho- uh, choose these three is because they match our current products, specifically our salad mixes, which um, you'll see. I think we we released it a few days ago that we uh, mix these edible flowers with these salad mixes because they complement each other's taste. So that's why we chose these three flowers specifically to grow. Uh, ibig sabihin yung wax and tuberous na variety ng begonia is totally different. So the the other the latter that you said, some people when you do take into it, it does have an effect on those who have the sickness called the go uh, spots, I'm sorry called goiter. So when you do take them, uh, uh-huh. it does affect your trait. So when we pick wax, it's the safest and healthiest. So even with the goiter, if you have goiter, you can still. Uh, consume the wax begonias. So that's why we took it into consideration so we can get a wider variety of, of our target, markets. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, okay. Sige, at least clear na. <laughs> Kasi hindi siko para ko naman silang begonia. Bakit kailangan wax lang, di ba? So, yeah. from begonia, jump naman tayo dito sa uh, impatience. Impatience is, wait, mas kilala siya sa touch minat na pangalan. Yes, po. yes po. So, how do you grow impatience sa inyong uh, farm? So, ma'am, the growth of this is actually just the same. Uh, for the three flowers that we have, we actually grow them basically in one section. And they're all grown similarly to each other. Just the exact same thing to consider, like the, the, the sun, the cool environment, the watering, and the pesticide free. Those are all things that you consider for all key flowers. So doing that is all applicable for all three of them. Pero, eh, kasi sabi mo kanina, yung begonias kailangan ng sunlight. Na nandun siya sa open field. Ang impatience, saan siya nakalocate? Saan natin siya tinatanin sa farm? Same yeah. area po as the begonias and sweet williams. They're all in one um, open field po. Open area. Ah, pati yung patients dun din, open field. Yes, for all of them. Akala ko nakalagay siya sa greenhouse. No. Oh, so the reason why the flowers are not in the greenhouse, uh, unlike our other produce here, is because they're not as sensitive to the, as the high value crops that yeah. we do grow in greenhouse. Yeah. So they still thrive in these open spaces and open areas. There is no need. They're not as sensitive as yeah, as we said earlier, the high value crops such as the lettuces. The flowering, the flowering, um, yeah, the flowering plants. Po. Mm-hmm. Kasi may nakita ko for the impatience, parang nagtatanong kung kailangan ng shade ng impatience. So, naisip ko agad na sa loob siya ng, ano nyo, ng greenhouse. Kaya, oh. yun yung tanong ko, oo. Oh, oh. So, okay lang siya na nasa field din, katulad ng ibang flowers natin. Yes po. Yes po. And even though, you do place them in a greenhouse. It's also not suggested that we don't completely shade it. Uh, again, because sunlight is very important for the flowers to bloom. Tula din ba siya ng ano ng begonia na four months then before harvest? Um, for the for the impatience, it's two months the harvest. Mas mas mabilis. Kano ka tayo bloom na tuloy tuloy? Two months. Yes. Ah, tumensan tuloy-tuloy siya. 
impatience is four months. Mas matagal. Ay, may mean uh, so, begonia. Yes, yeah, yes, begonia is four months. Okay, how about Sweet Williams? Uh, one month po. Ah, for this okay. Time. So, hindi isip ko sa presyo, mas mahal ang Sweet Williams. Well, uh, actually, the way we market it here is we all have them, all three flowers are all the same price po. At 115 pesos for 50 grams. Yes, nakita ko yun, yung spring mix nyo. Mm-hmm. Yes, but we also have spring mix. Yeah, the spring mix. That's what we mean by it fits uh, our current product. So, we can incorporate it to what we already have. Mm-hmm. So, yung mga high value nyo, yung mga lettuce, and then kasama yung flowers. Yeah. So, it's good. Your spring mix is a salad. Tama? Yes. yes. Uh, this salad actually consists of the romaine, green eyes, and lola rosa. And then, we that's we already had an existing product called the salad mix and also power mix. So, what we did to just incorporate it is we made a new mix called the spring mix and that's when we incorporated the three flowers. Mm. Curious ako. Paano yan? Eh, kasi four months lang yung begonia. Four months yung begonia tuloy-tuloy. And then two, two months naman yung impatience and one month yung sweet williams. Paano natin mamimaintain yung spring mix natin kung ganun na magkakaiba yung uh, tagal ng pag-bloom nila? Um, so, with that, the production team that we have here in Pedro Farms makes sure that there is a cycle that caters to uh, the continued production of our spring mix or or these um, edible flowers that we have here at the farm. So, that's on the production um, department's end. Production? Di ba siya pasok sa farm? Management? So, the farm is actually, we're all built on one society here basically so we all work together to make things uh so we can produce everything properly and make everything very efficient so you yeah, everything is very planned so from our coo to our production manager everything is planned so for the harvesting of the plants and everything uh for that we have our production manager make sure that all of these things will will be able to be harvested Mm-hmm. in one time so when we harvest our green eyes we can also start harvesting our blooms so all of those really come together because everything we have here is already scheduled oh so planado so hindi sila pag binukas mo yung salad mo hindi mo mimiss yung isang bulak lang <laughs> tama yes that's the goal oh. and that's what we try to achieve here the proper growing cycle that will cater to you know the products that we plan to sell and when we sell them mm-hmm. sa, sa spring mix uh, limited lang ba to? limited time ang ating product uh, no. well we really plan to have this as something that will really continue to be on the website throughout the rest of the year so yeah Again, sorry. We we plan to have this spring mix not just for now, but something mm-hmm. that you can buy on the website throughout the rest of the year. Or even the next year. The, the next, next years year. to come, yeah. Oh. It's not. Kasi, but kasi yeah. lang din ako nakakita ng mga edible flowers sa salad na nag-offer talaga. I mean, nagbebenta talaga sa market. Yeah, oh. definitely. I think one big factor as to why we released it at this time is, of course, as you said, Valentine's Day is coming up. Mm-hmm. So it would be, you know, it fits the theme of this month and it it might even attract more people in the market because of the time we released it. Also, because like the, the market again, yes, Valentine's. So you're basically hitting two birds in one stone and it's such a good idea in a, you know, in Valentine's, there are two things that you go for in Valentine's when you go with your significant other. Two gifts. You have flowers and you have food. So, this is such a cool idea to really incorporate because flowers is already being given. And then mm-hmm. the fact that flowers are edible also is, well, two birds in one stone. And now we offer them also in, a, in the packs. So, you can do whatever you want with it. And then afterwards, you can also consume it. You have it in the salad mix. So it's such a great idea. And we have flowers, especially in this time of the month. Yes. Yes. Kasi ang alam talaga sa Pilipinas, no? Ang kilala lang natin na edible flowers. 
ano, uh, bulaklak ng kalabasa. Kasi <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hindi mo naman pwedeng ibigay sa Valentine's Day. Oo, okay naman at practical. Pero iba, ka, iba pa rin yung special treatment na merong ganito. Merong begonia, merong mga sweet williams. Saan kayo kumukuha ng binhi pala nito? I'm sorry, what? Saan kayo kumukuha ng seeds? Paano nyo ba ito itinata rin? By seeds? We we import the seeds po for these. Hmm. Uh, yeah. So so hindi siya talaga dito sa Philippines. Imported ito mga bulaklak natin. Yes po. Na lang dito, tama. Yes po. Oh, o oh, di ba mas special pa kasi imported yung flowers. <laughs> exactly po. We want the best produce to be served to our customers also. Yes. Kasi kung gusto mo kumain ng mga edible flowers, kailangan punta ka pa sa mga 5-star hotel, di ba? 3-star, 4-star yeah. hotel. For this time, you can uh, access na lang online and magpa-deliver na lang sa inyo. Nag-deliver ba ang Pedro Farms? Yes, yes we do so. deliver po. We deliver. Depending on your... The way we deliver is also dependent on your area, which can be seen on our website. <laughs> Okay. So, pagbabalik po natin, pag-usapan natin paano naman na, natin makakontak ang Pedro Farms kung gusto natin i-avail itong kanilang spring mix salad. Ito po ang agree ako dyan. Nagbabalik po ang agree ako dyan. Kasama ko pa rin po si Ma'am Abby and Sir Nicolo ng Pedro Farms. Hello po ulit. Hello. So, kanina na-discuss na natin yung iba-ibang flowers no, na pwede natin kainan at available sa inyong farm. So, ngayon, mm-hmm. ah, nabanggit din kasi ni Ma'am Abby kanina na maraming health benefits ang mga edible flowers. So, ano-ano nga yun, Ma'am? So, health benefits of edible flowers generally is that they do possess nutritional value. So, this is because they're rich in moisture, carbohydrates, proteins, and they're also low in lipids. They also contain amounts of ash and dietary minerals such as calcium, iron, potassium, magnesium, phosphorus, or zinc. And they also contain high antioxidant antioxidant capacities that suggest positive effects on oxidative stress-related diseases. So these are diseases such as cancer, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, diabetes. But if we are speaking of the three flowers here that we do grow, so for the begonias, um, the begonia as a plant has numeral, numerous medical applications. So some of this are um, their leaf saps can actually be used to cure sore, sore throats. Um, the leaves are also consumed as teas for when you have a cold. And the shoots of the flower also can be used for um, upset stomachs. And for the flower itself, it contains antivirus and antibacterial properties that could be helpful for flu and coughs. So especially now in the season of the pandemic, I'm sure this is something that, you know, we have in the back of our heads and worry about. So it is said that the begonia can help provide nourishment for these areas and these diseases. And yes, they also contain natural compounds that are good for maintaining the health of your digestive systems. So for the second flower, the impatience, um, the juice of the impatience actually is known to treat different types of skin ailments, specifically also the poison ivy toxicity. In North America, they actually used impatience as herbal remedies for bee stings, insect bites, and stinging rashes. Um, the, effi- the efficacy of the plant and um, was used for ir- irritations with gastrointestinal canal and can also help alleviate inflammations caused by allergies and the last one the sweet williams these are actually medicinally medicinally used traditionally by the chinese um the chinese people for a range of health concerns such as um, urinary system concerns and it was also actually used to treat esophageal cancer colon cancer stomach cancer and a variety of other illnesses However, um, despite this information, it's still always best to consult your doctor. I guess I want to end on that important note. Despite uh, these researches, always consult consult your doctor because it's always a case to case basis. But these are just general information on what um, you know these flowers do have and how they were used before as medicinal purposes. Yes. So, apa kadami pa lang benefits niyan sa atin? <laughs> Pero 
Pero ano ba? Meron bang na-overdose sa pagkain din ng bulaklak? Um, yes, one of the pre- precautions that are mentioned um, when you do search on how to eat edible flowers is with anything, too much of a good thing can be a bad thing, right? Mm-hmm. So it's always important to use this sparingly so that, you know, you don't cause any je- digestive problems. Especially for people with allergies, it's important that you introduce these flowers into your diet very gradually because we don't know how this can trigger um you know your your body or your health so that's why at the end of it i guess one thing to really to really remember and that's really important is first fact check all the time and always at the end of it consult your doctor because i think it's important to remind yourself that this is a case-to-case basis on how much one can eat and how much one's body can take yes uh, maliban sa salad saan pa natin pwedeng gamitin itong begonia sweet Williams and impatience. Um, so other than salads, there are actually many different ways to eat it. One common one would be in desserts. I'm sure this is one of the things that caused it to trend as well. You see these cakes with these beautiful flowers on it. So definitely you can use these three flowers on cakes, dessert. Um, another interesting way that people actually use them is they freeze it in ice cubes. So if you have an ice tray, you can put it on and then freeze it there. Place it in your water, it'll make your water look extra pretty. And um, other ways people uh, eat them is also by crystallizing them into candies using sugar. So in that way, more than just making them into candies, it's also a nice way to preserve it. Um, other ways is people use it in their drinks, like cocktails or iced teas. As mentioned a while ago, tea like hibiscus tea is something that's also very common that's using edible flowers right, um, in your drinks. And you can actually also pickle the petals of certain flowers, such as the rose flower. You can p- pickle that and use the juice for whatever, like salads or your drinks, just to heighten the taste. So there are really many ways online. If you search, multiple multiple recipes will come up for you. Gusto ko yan yung sa drinks. Sa yeah. Mga juice. <laughs> so, yeah. so refreshing talaga siya. Ah, uh, so kanina sinasabi ko na ma-avail nila kayo paano uh, pa- online? Paano ba paano ba pupunta sa Pedro Farms? Okay, Nicola will explain more on the So, Pedro Farms is available to anyone who wants to order. You just have to go to pedrofarms.com. And once you go there, you can see all of our products and we can tell you also what our products are. So, on the website, once you have checked out or once you know what your orders are, it will will it will guide you on how we'll have it delivered and how you can pay for the products. Po. So it's as easy as that. So all you have to do is really just visit our website, pedrofarms.com. Yes. Uh, and you can order from there and delivery details are also there as well. So yes, also our links to our social media accounts just so you can know more about their farm. Uh- Sa perspective ng bibili, ito bang spring mix na mabibili ko ng uh, retail bag? Paano ba? Paano ang order natin ito? Meron ba tayong uh, tawag dito? Uh, numbers of orders bago natin ma-process? So, we don't actually have a minimum order. You can buy even just one pack and we can have it delivered. Uh, so, it's really good that you can buy as much as you want. So. We sell this not in bulk. We sell them in our clamshell. They're actually food grade and biodegradable packages. So we really want to keep it also eco economical. We want to be eco friendly here. So by this, we just put all of our produce in this food grade, either in ziplocs or in packages. For the spring mix, it comes in this clamshell that you can even eat there as long as you yeah, wash you the can produce. Eat directly from it. But as of now, it's sold just as is, not by bulk. Okay. So, magkano? <laughs> so, our string mix now is 185 pesos per pack. Po. Per pack. Ang laman nun ay begonia, sweet williams, uh, impatience, and then mga high value natin, lettuce. Yes, so it comes with the, the three flowers that we have and we have our Lola Rosa, our Romaine, and our Green Ice in that mix. And we also added arugula into it. Oh, so sulit na 185. Yes. So, 
sa Pedro Parks nakita ko hindi lang edible flowers ang meron kayo. Ano ano pa makikita natin sa Pedro Parks? So the, the edible flowers are just actually three out of like 47 or we actually have 70 plus produce or and products here in our farm now. And me and Abby can actually tell you that what our produce are. So I can start. <laughs> So for our fruiting plants, one of the most recent ones are our aubergines. They're these eggplants that we release by threes, so you can buy them um, per pack by threes. Next, of course, we what we talked about during this webinar are the flowers, the begonia, impatient, sweet williams. We actually also have different types of mushrooms. So there's the pink oyster, a Florida white oyster, brown, yellow, and angel oyster mushrooms available here at the farm. Um, we also sell bell peppers of three colors, so red, yellow, and green. We have two types of tomatoes here right now. First, the cherry plum and the salad tomatoes. The other things we do have are our baby corn, hot pepper, long peppers, um, the two types of cucumbers. This is snack cucumber and Japanese cucumber. We also have um, French beans. And then for our leafy products, we have... Um, so we have, for our leafy products, we have bok choy, romaine, green eyes, and la rosa. So the romaine, green eyes, lola rosa, as I said, those are available also in our packs, the salt mix and power mix. Uh, most of these are also available in packs or also we sell them in wholesale per kilo. So in our website, you can see those both. So aside from those, we also have curly kale, Toscana kale, and Chinese kale. We have, we have cilantro, arugula, baby spinach, basil, mint, dill, parsley, bunching onions, and as I mentioned, the salad mix power mix pop. So the salad mix is the romaine, green ice, and lola rosa. For our power mix, it's the green ice, romaine, lola rosa, and also kale. We also have sage. And then also, as mentioned, we uh, not yet mentioned, but we also have microgreens pop. So our microgreens, we have the microgreens mix. So that consists of the broccoli sprouts, uh, the green radish, and purple radish. And then we also sell those in individual packs if you want to buy them like that. Oh, so, yeah. This can all be seen on the website. Yes. I know it's a lot to take in, yes. but just go oh. to the website, you'll see everything there. Yes. 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 Well, right now we actually have 32 people here. Then that's already considering us, the management, the, management, the greenhouse oh. workers, everyone around in the farm actually is already considered in that. So we have 32 people. 30, 30 ba? 32. 32. 32. Lang, pero ang kaya so, I'm curious, so pala ako, pwede ba mag tour sa Pedro Farms? Of course, ma'am. Yes. We'd love to have you. We'd love to have you guys here soon. Just let us know when so we can set a date if ever. Yeah, and hintayin natin malif itong ano no pandemic at makapasyal tayo dyan. Yes. Magano din ba kayo? May pick and pay din ba? Ano, uh, pa pag nag-tour doon? So, as of now, we're actually strictly not allowing much people inside the greenhouse. So, that's to conserve the... The, the produce. produce we don't really yes. want the insects from the Best people prevention, yes. yeah. so to keep the quality high po, we really assign certain set of people for certain greenhouses yes even us really we're not even allowed here only our greenhouse staff are allowed inside our greenhouses to maintain the to maintain the quality the freshness and the quality yeah, yeah. but you can maintain the quality yeah. you can, <laughs> you can actually see the produce them. from outside yes. mm -hmm. the so, maganda pa rin na makapag-tour kasi uh, makikita tayo ng kaibang technology pagdating sa farm. Makikita ko mga greenhouse at sobrang green talaga, lalong-lalo na gusto kong puntahan yung flower farm nyo. <laughs> Ma'am Abby and Sir Nico, thank you po sa pagsama sa amin. Much thank you for having thank you for us having also. Us. At ayan na nga, Valentine's na po. Kaya happy Valentine's Day <laughs> Valentine's Day. So, ordering from Petrofarms. Yes, you can get our flowers. They're already available. Po, so we also, yeah, we also actually have a new Valentine's Day product lineup. Yes. Uh, we've actually posted about it just a few minutes ago or an hour ago. So you can see this on our website. They're also on our social media, Facebook and Instagram specifically. Yes, both.
we have the special Valentine's mix, what we call it. And we also have a special Sa- Yeah, we have bouquet. a salad bouquet. So it's a bouquet made out of lettuce wow, instead of flowers. <laughs> yeah. So, go visit our website po. You can see everything there. Yes. Oh, wag na kayong bumili ng mga naka-stem lang. Ito, healthy. Nakakain na mapusog. Sabi kasi no, iba. Pag, ba't ako bibili ng flowers? Ma- ano lang yan? Uh, mabubulong lang yan, di ba? Pero ito, makakain mo, healthy ka pa. <laughs> Ganda na, healthy pa. Ayan. Thank you again, Ma'am Abby and Sir Nicolo. At sa ating mga kasama, Uh, isang kaalaman na naman po tungkol sa agrikultura ang ating napag-usapan. Ang Pedro Farms nga ay may tatlong edible flowers na pinoproduce. Ito ay ang begonia, impatience, at sweet william. Ito ay patok na patok, lalo na po ngayong Valentine's Day. At ito po ay attractive at maraming benefits. Kaya naman maraming salamat po ulit, Sir, uh, Sir Nicolo and Ma'am Abby. Hanggang sa muli, ito po ang Agriya Pudyan. Agriya Pudyan!